Hi boys and girls, happy Friday. It's great to be with you again. We're gonna use our sign language to say good morning to each other. Uh, you guys get to start off saying good morning boys and uh, uh, I get to start off, I'm sorry, saying good morning boys and girls and then you get to say good morning to your teacher. So here we go. Good morning boys and girls. And what can you say to your teacher? Good morning, teacher. What a great job. Today is Friday. You're very right. Friday begins with this letter right here. It is an F, and F says, funny T, Friday. Great job. And we're going to put that on the white strip. White strip. Good job. Remember, we are in a brand new month. Oh, looking for my stick here. There we go. A brand new month. It's the month of December. It begins with the letter D and D says D. We're going to spell December together in three, in two, in one. D E C E M B E R spells December. And we're looking for the number that comes after the number three. Four. You said four? Hmm. I think you might be right. Let's count to make sure. Ready, set, go. One, two, Three, four. Good job. Great counting. I have three cards here. Hmm. Does that card say four? No, it says five. You're right. And do we need it today? No, we need it tomorrow. Okay, I have two more left. <gasps> Is this the number four? No, this number says six, and I know that because the circle's at the bottom. I'm going to put him next to number five. How about this one? Four, you're very right. That number says four. I'm going to put it right under Friday. Good job. So today is Friday, December 4th. And before we stand for the pledge, I want you to look at our Santa guy, our little Santa's countdown. So today is the fourth day. I need to find the number four, and it's right here. I'm going to color this line, this little strip, red. Now, the redder his beard gets, the closer to Christmas we get. Once we've colored all the way to here, that tells us it's Christmas Day. So it's a very fun way to um, keep track of when Christmas is coming and when it's getting closer and closer and closer. What a great job. All right, friends, can we stand for the pledge? Here we go. This is my right hand. I hold it up high and it goes right over our chest. Our left hand is down by our side. And we'll sing together, or we'll say it together in three, in two, in one. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What a great job. So we've done This Land is Your Land. We've done God Bless America. What other songs have we sung that honor the country that we live in? The United States of America. How about You're a Grand Old Flag? So when we sing this song, what do we have to do? We gotta get our flags away from here we go. <laughs> and the sounds that we have learned so far, and then we'll do our brand new 
letter of the day, okay? So we're going to start right here. A. A says, ah, you're ready. A is the name and the sound is ah, 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 like Apple and Allison. B, you're right. B says, b, b. B is the name and the sound is b, 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 b like ball and Ben. Big curve, C. C is the name and the sound is k, 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 k like cat and Caden. D, you're right, D says d, d. D is the name and the sound is d, 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 d like dog and dad. E, E can say its name like eat and ear, but it also says a, a, a. E is the name and the sound is a, 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 like elephant, Eddie, and Eliana. F, funny teeth time. F is the name and the sound is like feather and our friend Finley. G, G says j, j for our friend Genevieve, has two sounds. It also says g. You can put your hand on your throat. Gulp, g, g. Great job. G is the name and the sound is g. G, 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 g like garbage trucks. Who has their hands up already for our hot song? That's the letter H. You're very right. Here we go. H is the name and the sound is like horse. I, two sounds. I can say its name. I, I, I for ice cream. It also says it, it, it for insect. We'll say I because that's a picture of ice cream. Here we go. I is the name and the sound is I. I, I, I like ice cream. We just did this word or this letter on Wednesday. J. J says ch, ch. J is the name and the sound is ch, 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 like J. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Do you know the name of that letter, friends? K. K sounds just like the letter C. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes we can get them confused because when we're looking at that picture of a cat, it says k, k, cat. And when we're looking at this picture of a kangaroo, we're saying k, k, kangaroo. Sometimes you just have to know these rules. Remember we talk about how the English language can be so very tricky, okay? So when we say letter K, we're saying k, k, k. K is the name and the sound is k, 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 like kangaroo. What a great job. So friends, what we're gonna do, Miss Miller's gonna move her stuff. I am going to print an uppercase and a lowercase for my friends and then we'll try to think of some great K words okay I'm going to make a top line for my uppercase and lowercase case a bottom line and a middle marker uppercase K and lowercase K both start at the top so we're gonna start at the top for our uppercase K it's straight line down you have to come back to the top, friends. You're not gonna make a straight line down. You're gonna go slanty, slanty in, slanty out, okay? So let's try that again. Straight line down. I come back to the top and it's slanty in, slanty out. What a great job. Now I did say lowercase k also starts at the top. It's a straight line down. But to do the slanty in and the slanty out part, I start at the middle marker it will show us that it's the lowercase k. So we start here, slanty in, slanty out. They look very much alike. They're both starting at the top. They both have slanty in, slanty out. Uppercase k is bigger though. You can see that it's bigger, okay? So we're gonna start at the top for our lowercase k, straight line down, come to the middle marker, slanty in, slanty out, great job. Can we think of some K words that we can add to our K word wall? How about kangaroo? We're going to talk about kangaroos today. You might notice that Mrs. Miller was wearing kind of like an apron. We're going to pretend to be a kangaroo in a few minutes, okay? Kangaroo. K-A-N. And 
G-A-R-O-O. -O. Kangaroo. Hmm. I'd like to clap it. I'd like to see how many beats or syllables are in that word. Ready? Kangaroo. I clapped three times. That means there's three syllables or three beats in kangaroo. Hmm. How about a baby cat? What would a baby cat's name be? A kitten. Yeah, we already know. Kitten. And this is the sign for a um, kiss. Kiss. That also begins with the letter K. Kiss. Mm, when I'm making my coffee or I'm baking something in the oven, I'm in my k -k kitchen. Good job. I can also show you the sign for kitchen. It's kind of a silly one. Mommies and daddies will get a kick out of it. Your hand is straight out like this, and then you just go, boop. Kitchen. Kiss. Good job. How about two more? Hmm. How about koala bear? Koala. That starts with the letter K. Koala. And I thought this one was kind of funny. Can you say k -k -k cookie? Cookie. That actually has two K's in it. Cookie. We can think of more K words on Monday, boys and girls, when we talk about kites, okay? What a great job. This is a great start. Kangaroo, kitten, kiss, kiss, kitchen, koala, and cookie. Can we count them to see how many we have? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I know that number. Circles at the bottom for number six, right? Circles at the bottom. My favorite shape. What is it called? A rhombus. What a great job. All right, friends, we are talking about kangaroos a little bit today. Um, and I wanted to share some fun facts about kangaroos. Um, the first fun fact, boys and girls, is that kangaroos have pockets. A kangaroo has a pocket. He is a marsupial animal, boys and girls. And we're going to read a story about a kangaroo who is a marsupial animal. They call her marsupial Sue. And that means that they have a pocket. A kangaroo's baby is called a joey. And that joey lives in mommy's pocket until it is old enough to be on its own. Okay. Well, I'm pretending to be a kangaroo. Mrs. Miller has a pocket, but I also have numbers in my pocket, okay? All right, so here's my pocket, and I have numbers in there. When I pull a card out, we're gonna guess the name of the number, and then we're also going to jump to that number, okay? Because what are kangaroos really good at? They're really good at jumping, you're very right. This is the number. Three. So we're going to do three big kangaroo jumps. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. Now I'm going to stick my hand in my kangaroo pocket because I'm a marsupial animal. <gasps> a one and a two next to each other. Twelve. We have to jump twelve times. Are you ready to do that job? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoa, that was a big number. Wonder if I will pick another big number out of my pocket, or I will pick a small number. Uh-oh. A one and a one right next to each other. That's 11. We have to do 11 kangaroo jumps. Are you ready? Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa, we so All right. Shall we find one more? We'll do one more. Circle at the bottom. We've talked about this number a lot today. He is number six. All right, we're gonna do six kangaroo jumps together in three, in two, in one. One, two, three, four, five, six. What a great job. Thank you, friends. All right, so what I wanted to do um, today is in your next packet of, um, of um, work, work pages and crafts and things, I put a picture of a kangaroo, and you'll get that um, probably next week. I'm going to show you how to cut out your kangaroo, and then you get to put it on a piece of paper, and you get to color it, okay? This is what you would be doing in school if you were here today, okay? So please remember, 
Our thumb goes in the little hole and our fingers go in the big hole and our thumb is always shooting toward the sky. Open, shut, open, shut. This guy who's not holding the scissors, his name is Helper Hand. He's gonna hold the paper. He's gonna turn the pages, okay? He's gonna turn the pages to help scissor hand cut, all right? So let's kind of cut the um, body, the head part um, first, okay? So I know it's a little tricky, like where do I start cutting? I'm gonna start right here at this line and I'm gonna go straight across. Open, shut them, okay? Open, shut them. Now when I get to the end, what do I have to do with my helper hand? I have to turn the page. You see how I turned the page with my helper hand so I can go up this line? What do I have to do again? Turn the page and go around, okay? Turning the page. You're watching my helper hand. You're seeing how much work it is doing, okay? Turning again, okay? Do you have to stay completely on the line? Absolutely not. You just do the best you can, okay? This is just really good practice, okay? All right, I'm doing it. I'm trying to stay on the lines. I don't always stay on the lines, and that is okay. All right, so here is the top half of my kangaroo. And I will put her right here, okay? I think she needs a bottom half, what do you think? She's got those strong, powerful legs. Are we ready? So I'm gonna take my helper hand again. My thumb is still in the little hole. My fingers are in the big hole. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. Do I turn? I sure do. My helper hand helps me to do that job. I turn again. There we go. Here we go. And friends, um, you'll be able to cut your very one own out um, next week, okay? Um, here we go, look, there's the bottom. So on your piece of paper, friends, you're going to glue the top and the bottom of the kangaroo onto that paper, okay? And then you get to color your kangaroo any color that you like, okay? Color them all up, I can't wait to see them. Maybe you can send me a picture of how cute your kangaroo turned out when you get him, okay? You can do anything you like, okay? And here's his pocket. Here's his little pocket, okay? Because, or here's her little pocket. She's a marsupial animal. There you go. We love it. All right, friends. I would love to read a story to you about marsupial Sue. She's not very happy. You know how there's always a problem in our story. She's not very happy. I don't think she wants to be a kangaroo anymore. Okay, so keep that in mind as we read our story. That could be the problem. And who is the book mostly about? It's about her, Marsupial Sue. You're very right. Our book is written by John Lithgow. He thought of the words, he thought of the story and wrote it. It's illustrated by Jackie Davis. That's the person who painted the beautiful pictures, okay? Marsupial Sue. A little hint, you're going to see some other animals in this story. They are all marsupial animals. They all have pockets and carry their babies in these pockets, okay? Marsupial Sue, a young kangaroo, hated the hopping that kangaroos do. Hmm. She didn't like to hop. A kangaroo that doesn't like to hop. It rattled her brain, it gave her migraine, a backache, a sideache, a tummy ache too. One morning in May, she wandered away, leaving her relatives grazing on, on hay. All of her kangaroo friends, there she is, she's leaving. What did she see way up in a tree? Koalas gaily at play. A koala is a marsupial animal. And suddenly, Sue was convinced that she had found a way to escape all that bouncing around. She climbed to the top, she heard a loud pop, and howling in pain, fell down to the ground. Do kangaroos hang upside down? I don't think so. Oh, marsupial Sue, a lesson or two. Be happy with who you are. You are. Don't ever stray too far away from you. Get rid of that frown, waltz up and down beneath the marsupial star. You're a kangaroo through and through. Just do what kangaroos do. Oh, I don't think she's quite convinced yet. With summer at hand and the weather was grand, so Sue stole away from her kangaroo band. 
right, there they all are. There she goes again. Wonder who she's gonna meet. <gasps> Combing the shore, she heard someone snore. A platypus asleep in the sand. Platypus, a marsupial animal. How cozy, she said, completely misled, ignoring the probable trouble ahead. Don't think kangaroos hang out in the water, I'm thinking. How perfect for me, a life by the sea, all snug in a watery bed. Oh, problem at hand. So she flopped in the mud with a thud and a shout. She swallowed a scallop, a shrimp, and a trout. I don't think kangaroos eat seafood. This could be a problem. Is it a problem? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, by a quarter to two, the poor kangaroo had typhoid pneumonia, colic, and gout. She was a very sick little kangaroo. Oh, marsupial slutsu, a lesson or two. Be happy with who you are. Don't ever stray too far from you. Get rid of that frown and waltz up and down beneath the marsupial star. You're a kangaroo through and through. So do what kangaroos do. Uh-oh, not getting it yet. That autumn once more, the season of fall, she got to explore a creature she'd never laid eyes on before. A version of her in miniature, that means smaller, a wallaby with cousins galore. Wallabies also are marsupial animals. Before very long, Sue joined in the throng, flouncing and jouncing and bouncing along. Happy and free, she shouted with glee, at last, I'm where I belong. Then she looked at the wallaby, sprightly and small, exactly like her, only not quite so tall. She widened her eyes and cried with surprise. A kangaroo's life's not so bad after all. Yay, she's got it. Oh, marsupial Sue, no longer so blue. You're happy with who you are. You'll never stray too far from you. You're rid of that frown, so waltz up and down beneath the marsupial star. You're a kangaroo through and through, so do what kangaroos do. You're a kangaroo through and through, do what kangaroos do. Do you see how she's smiling? But there's a tear, we call those happy tears. Sometimes you can cry for very happy reasons. They're very joyful and happy. And this, boys and girls, it's actually a song. You could actually sing, sing the whole story. So marsupial Sue learned her lesson. She learned to be happy with who she was. All right, friends. Well, today is Friday, and then we have the weekend, and I will see you on Monday. We're gonna to continue to talk about the letter K, and we're going to talk about kites and what their job are, what their job is, okay? Kites are a lot of fun, especially when it's a windy day. So we're going to put our hands in the air. We're gonna sing our goodbye song, and I will see you on Monday. Here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Give a smile and a wave. We will see you another day. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Have a very nice weekend.